Hey guys, Ken Perry with the Knowledge Coop. I brought to you an expert, Eric Wiley with Pacific Residential Mortgage. Eric, thanks for joining us today. Ken, thanks for having me. You've been in this business how long? I've been almost 20 years. Almost 20 years yes, in the business. Yes, 2015 is 20 years. And the cool thing is the business never changes. So it's always pretty much as steady as she goes. Exactly the same as 1995. I think so too. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, 2015 is here uh, quickly. What do you think, you know, what's your thoughts going into 2015? Kind of a general question. What are your thoughts going into it? Not just running a business, but compliance wise and, you know, all that stuff. You know, what I'm seeing is adapting to change. You know, it's a big one. The market has changed. We've changed, uh, you know, largely from refinances to purchases. Mm -hmm. A lot of companies maybe said they were purchase focused along mm -hmm. the way, but really, I mean, almost all of our business is purchased. So yeah. you got to change what you're doing there. You got to change mm -hmm. with technology. Um, we're seeing a big change with, um, you know, our people are focusing more on how to market through technology, how mm -hmm. to leverage it, how to interact with their clients with it. And a lot of the clients are getting a lot more comfortable with it, too. So right. so uh, the systems we use are more uh, technology focused. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think people need to look at, you know, making fun of 1995. It's not 1995. Right. You have to change the way you sell. And right. so uh, changing the way you sell means looking at the positives of the change and positives of technology and, and bringing that to the people um, you know, that you work with. And, and uh, you know, a recent example that I think is a good one is insurance companies and um, the, uh, the medical profession have to change, you know, what they're doing in terms of, uh, in terms of um, having information available online and, right. and what have you. Right. And I was at, uh, you know, a medical professional and they were even the business owner and they were apologizing to me that they had to use the technology on the iPad. These newfangled machines. To input uh, my record, you know, oh as, it, as it was in the appointment. Yeah. And so, you know, I was looking at him going, uh, and he wasn't horrible about it, yeah. but there's an opportunity to say, hey, all the stuff's now done immediately. It's yeah. all available to you, you know, if you want it. And next time I'm in the appointment, you can just pull up my record and it's right there. Yeah. You know, so, so there's a big benefit, actually, that he didn't highlight. He highlighted the negative. And, that's funny. So he spun so, it negative. And like, I'm so sorry we have to deal with that instead of talking about what great things were possible. Yeah, and I'm already his client. You know, yeah. so I'm already his patient. I'm already his client. And he could have highlighted the positive. Right. And instead uh, hadn't made his pitch change with the time yet. And so... Let me give you the flip side of that. I was at a company called Smarsh. There's a, they're a mortgage compliance company. Uh, and actually, they're in compliance in a, a bunch of different fields. But I went to their, visit their office in downtown Portland, and when I walked up, the, the front desk had this iPad sitting there, and she, this the woman behind the, the counter said, go ahead and, and sign in. And I look at this thing, I'm like, sign in on an iPad. Like, this is my dream as a compliance dork. I'm like, this is so great. And so I signed, and then she's like, I'm sorry, but it's going to take your picture. And I'm like, sorry, like, that's the greatest thing ever. Right. And so I was talking to her about, you know, same thing. How do you sell that? Because she was happy about the sign-in piece. Um, and when it came down to the picture, she, I'm sure she gets a lot of people reacting negatively, but it was, it was just an easy conversation of me looking at it and going, I understand. And then the guy I was with said, do you know why we do that? You know, here's why we do that. And he actually used it as a tool to not just as a sales tool, but really as letting me kind of more embed myself in their company and right. knowing, having their company tell me why they do certain things and why, and why that protects me. Right. And with your technology, you guys just roll out a new LOS. Right, we went Encompass uh, from Point. We also took on the paperless, you know, side of Encompass right out of the gates. And so, not only does that mean the paper file within our system is gone, it means that customers can upload their information directly through the web securely nice. into into the system. And yeah. so, there's a big benefit. But I think that with change, you know, you watch some of the people um, that are internal to the company experience the change and go, ah, I got to do this now, or Ooh, I don't know about that. Right. There's a big benefit. People don't have to pop in their cars and drop mm -hmm. stuff off one mm -hmm. way or the other. The client, the originator. Mm -hmm. There's a big benefit. It's available to everyone instantly in the mm -hmm. system, front person to the back person. And mm -hmm. so, um, instead of focusing on the benefits, some people adapt to change by looking at what changed right. and how did their routine change right. and feel uncomfortable with that. Instead of hey, this changed, I'm going to look at it in a positive way. I'm going to take on. The, the positive pieces and have to adapt to the ones that make me, you know, force me to do things differently. And I think regulations, you know, have mm -hmm. have had that impact on uh, the industry as a whole mm -hmm. quite a bit in the last, you know, what, five years, six years. Yeah. We got another one coming in 2015. It's going to yeah. change the numbers again right. and right. timelines and what have you. 
But if you adapt to the change of, hey, I did this, but now look, this is better. Because there's mm -hmm. a lot of pluses with the new disclosure mm -hmm. sense, right? Right. Instead of looking at, oh, we just lost three days at the end of a transaction, mm -hmm. hey, we gained uh, the math works again. You right. Know, you can actually show right. the math start to finish and it, you know, purchase yeah. price, you know, yeah. payment, all that stuff, it works. Yeah. So, but I think you're right. I think change, especially when it's, uh, it's the unknown, you know, it's, with all these regs, everybody, you hear so many nightmare things. And I mean, I've been to so many sessions on the new good faith all the way through the year on the new loan estimate. And everywhere I go, people are freaking out. And even some of the sessions I've been at, they're going, we don't know. And like, it just makes everybody go, we don't know. I'm scared, you know, and it's, it's, it's so much easier in my opinion. It's easier for me to dive into it for a little bit, get the knowledge that I that I need from people that I respect, get that information, and then it's less scary. But it's so much. It, that's the easier way to do it long term. And but that reaction initially is, you know, for a lot of people is, what's happening to me now? And it's almost that victim mentality. Um, well, and Ken, we were looking, you know, during lunch right before this, we yeah. had a great lunch. Oh, sushi. Um, we were talking about what sets someone apart from their competition. Mm -hmm. Well, knowing, you know, how to sell around this, how to make mm -hmm. a positive out of, hey, we have a new way to upload documents. Yeah. You can call me at 8 o'clock tonight and I'll help walk you through it. Yeah. Now, if you tell 10 customers that and only two follow up with a phone call, you just told 10 people you work after hours. Right. You just told people you're available. Right. And you didn't have to do anything past that. So, mm -hmm. so you added a benefit and they kind of feel that benefit, you know, into, into their you know, understanding of how you work. Mm -hmm. The bank doesn't offer that necessarily right. the credit right. union, you know if you're a more independent mortgage person and, mm -hmm. and so um and maybe they do but my point is is there are things you can do to mm -hmm. set aside yourself from maybe some of your competition well and i guess that's the real growth area of this is it, it's not just you know for you to not stress at night it's for you to grow your business you know if you if you aren't stressed about it and you're looking at ways that you can use it to your advantage and you're right standing out not a lot of loan officers, and I deal with loan officers all over the country, not a lot of loan officers will pick this up and go, hey, let's attack this, let's get it out there, let's do it better than everybody else, let's be smarter than everybody else. And really, if you're looking for something, if you're sitting back like, why am I not producing more loans or how can I produce more, start there, You know, go back and be an expert on everything that you do during the day. If there's something that you're uncomfortable with, whether it be a new rule change, a new technology, whatever, go and learn it, figure out how it works, and then move on, Like, and then start producing more. Look at some positives. Yeah. You know, because if you look at the positives, no doubt the negatives kind of fall away. They mm -hmm. don't look so big. They don't yep. look so intimidating. And you and you can adapt faster. Yeah. All right. Big here, you guys. Uh, go get them. Thank you, Eric Wiley, for uh, meeting with me. And I, I think you. you provided some good value to the people. Thanks, Ken. All right. We're getting really good at this. We You saw we just knocked out both videos yes. in one, right? That was so awesome. <laughs> Woo-woo!